Well, let's hear first uh, from some English-speaking rail travellers already caught up in the problems. In England, it's they strike all the time, so it's just one of those things you just have to put up with it. And our train system is probably far worse than yours. I can understand for the workers, but for everyone else, it's hard. And when you do that much strikes during a Easter weekend, it's difficult. The French seem more united when they strike. Everybody sticks together, and usually the French get what they want. <laughs> Well, let's cross live then to uh, one of Paris's main railway stations, Gare du Nord. Correspondent Chris Moore is there for us. Chris, um, first of all, just explain to us why then exactly this strike is happening. Well, at the centre of all of this, as you said, is uh, Emmanuel Macron's uh, reform agenda. He came to power promising to uh, shake up the country's labour laws to make the market, uh, as he sees it, more flexible and more competitive. And part of that uh, is uh, reforming the country's uh, rail company, the national rail company, the uh, SNCF, uh, getting rid of what the government says are gold-plated uh, jobs for uh, incoming employees. What's more, the government says it doesn't uh, have a chance. It has to shake up the, uh, the company to make it uh, more efficient and less less dead-ridden ahead of uh, the opening up of uh, Europe's railway lines to uh, competition. Now, obviously, the unions aren't happy about this, not just in terms of what they see uh, as an attack on those jobs, but what does they, they see as a precursor to uh, privatisation uh, of the rail system, which is something the uh, French government uh, has uh, strenuously uh, denied. It is likely, as you were saying, to be uh, a bit of a tug of war over what are three months' worth of strikes, uh, or strikes that are taking place every couple of days, uh, over uh, three months. In terms of public opinion, uh, well, uh, opinion polls showing that initially the French public were perhaps more inclined uh, to be on the uh, president's side, but that gap uh, is narrowing. Now, Emmanuel Macron has a big majority uh, behind him. He's a new president uh, who came into power uh, promising uh, to shake up the economy, uh, but at the same time, uh, the uh, the, uh, the, the, the cautionary tales uh, from the past uh, really are, are legion uh, in terms of uh, when strike movements, protest movements uh, build up ahead of steam uh, here in France. Uh, the government uh, has in the past uh, tended to back down. That's something Emmanuel Macron uh, at the moment is saying he is uh, absolutely determined not to do. And Chris, judging from what you're seeing there uh, with the crowds of people, or not crowds of people, if people aren't even turning up, I mean, what is this um, strike to set to look like? Well, the station behind me, Gare du Nord, is uh, Europe's busiest, and it's normally pollinating at this time of day. Things are relatively uh, quiet at the moment. A lot of people seem to have made uh, alternative arrangements over uh, the next three months. Uh, if you're travelling on those strike days, it really is a bit of uh, a question of uh, pay your money and take your chances. In terms of what's happening today, uh, the service in, in the Ile-de-France, the greater uh, Paris region, uh, is heavily affected. Uh, Long-distance trains within France, the TGV, only one in eight uh, trains are predicted to run there. Uh, things are a lot more fluid uh, on the Eurostar line to London and on the uh, Talis uh, high-speed uh, route into uh, Belgium, uh, the Netherlands and Germany. But as you said, uh, services to Italy and Spain uh, have been uh, knocked out and uh, people who use the rail service here in France are likely to see a lot more of the same uh, in, in the coming weeks. Chris, thanks very much. Chris Moore, our correspondent that's speaking to us set live there from Guy du Nord. For more information, uh, do have a look at our website. There you'll find a survival guide, in fact, for people planning to travel here in France over the next few months, full as well of top tips for travellers. We'll also have more uh, coming up very shortly with Stephen in business.